Well, good morning. You know, right now is one of the busiest times at Metro Airport for people catching their flights and to, well, check their bags. Right now, about a couple thousand bags are going to be checked. And what I'm going to do is walk you through that process. You know, they're going to be checked in right here. These baggage tags are going to be print. These folks look like they're going to go to Orlando, maybe Disney World. And then these bags are going to go on this conveyor belt and go on a journey of their own. As soon as you check in, your bag is on a trip of its own, and sometimes it gets a little more attention than what you thought. One of the things that the agency does is we have layered security. So one of the things that we want to do is we just want to have just one system in place. We have multiple systems in place. From canines to cameras to x-ray machines, security is tight on the tarmac and inside the terminal, inspecting everything from planes to your carry-on and checked bags. From the McNamara terminal to the North terminal where we had our tour. So all the ticket counters are right above us. So what happens is every ticket counter and every check bag that comes down is going to come down one of these conveyor belts. And then uh, for the entire length of the terminal. Basically, it's an organized maze. And then your bag is sent into one of these large x-ray machines. And if the x-ray machine flags something. That item is, uh, is sent to a separate room. It's called the resolution room. And in this room, your bag is put on a robot and it's transferred to a station where a TSA agent inspects the bag. Agents inspect tens of thousands of bags every day with about 1,100 flights per day and nearly 37 million passengers per year at Detroit Metro Airport. On a daily basis, agents find items that are prohibited in checked bags and those are anything from pepper spray, fireworks, flammable aerosols, and lithium batteries. One of the biggest threats or dangers they come across are loaded firearms that are not being properly transported and those pose a danger to everyone from passengers to agents and when they find one we notify law enforcement we also notify the customer that that uh, bag belongs to and then we go to protocols to make sure that we mitigate it how quickly is that customer or that flyer notified that their bag is red flagged and that they have an item that is not able to be transported less than five minutes yeah less than five minutes and one of these bags, well, when it does go through this conveyor belt, will probably end up being inspected. And if it does, customers will find, well, this uh, baggage inspection ticket in their bag saying that their bag has been inspected and it will also have the agent's name of who inspected the bag on that form. Reporting at Metro Airport, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.